Brian. Your Majesty. This is my son, Prince Edward. Come forward, child. This is my new queen, Catherine. Say hello to him. Hello, Your Majesty. Oh, you're such a sweet boy. Hello, Your Grace. I'm so delighted to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> is he well? Eating well? How does the heat affect him? Even though it is so hot, he must always be wrapped up against any sudden chills. He is very well and healthy, and every oh. care that could be taken is taken for his better comfort. I trust you are well looked after, and everybody is kind to you. Yes, sir. Hmm. I have a gift for you. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go away from London for a while. Your uncle will stay here. Hmm? He is to be kept warm and well at Windsor, Lady Brian. Now, listen closely. When you have a tutor, you have to learn these things, Edward. Cupis atque dot cherry. Cupis atque. You want to go and play? Yes, if it please you, sister. One day you'll be a great king, Edward. I know you will be. And very strong. But also fair and merciful. I want you to be a just ruler. And then indeed you shall be a great king. Now, go along and play. Thank you, Elizabeth. And God bless you. Prince Edward <laughs> and Lady Elizabeth. <laughs> Don't be so impatient. The Earl and Lady Hartford. Prince Edward. My lords. May I present His Grace, Prince Edward. My Lord. Me, Your Grace. You are most welcome to His Majesty's court at this Christmas time. Your Grace is very kind to speak to us in person. I have been practicing. Well done. Good night, sweet Edward. Lady Brian! Lady Brian! Come quickly. He has a fever. I feel his head. Go fetch a physician. Run! Yes, madam. Send a message to my lord Hartford. Yes, my lady. Your Majesty.
My lord. <clears throat> Send for the Bishop of London. Tell him to prepare a special mass in the Chapel Royal. To give thanks to God for my son. <laughs> 